Hey, it's Mike Draper here with AWC TV, and uh, we're really excited today. Uh, we have a uh, podcaster, Josh Cronin, with the WCR Nation with us today. Josh, welcome aboard. Appreciate you uh, coming on board with us today and uh, having a little chat. For sure. Appreciate you having me. Yeah, so uh, uh, your podcast, I was watching. You've been doing a lot of live stuff lately, and uh, I've, I watched a couple of them here as of recent. And uh, nice job. You're, you're really doing some nice work. Yeah, you know, what I say is uh, they don't all suck, so that's good. You know, it's nice to uh, waste a little bit of time watching, you know, something. And uh, you can't hit them all out of the park, but I try. Yeah. So when you're trying to figure out uh, content for that podcast, uh, what what are you going for? Well, what's really, really cool is um, the people we call the nation, right? The people who watch all the time. I get emails and texts and, and, and phone calls and everything. All week. So people really send me in a lot of ideas and that's really what we go for. Anything that is business related is really what we want to talk about. I don't ever want to go into the like how to technique for window cleaning. There's kind of there's enough guys that do that. I'm going to do more when we try to alleviate with, you know, marketing or home shows or dealing with the competition or that kind of thing. Yeah. Now I've noticed as of recent, um, everybody that's been on has had a beard. Now, is that a requirement? <laughs> it, you know, it should be. It, it makes me feel just a little less manly uh, being the baby face, but but it's nice. They they make sure to point that out to me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I watched uh, your one here recently and you were talking about the beard and how your baby face and uh, I'm in the same category. I, I can't, if, if I do grow one out, it's all patchy and looks horrible. So uh, I, I couldn't grow one if I wanted to. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I still, you know, I rebuild chainsaws and, you know, sharpen axes in my spare time, but it's just the beard thing just isn't, isn't, isn't in my uh, cards. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Uh, you've had some interesting characters on there. Um, and I say characters lightly, just some good people, uh, obviously, from our, our window cleaning community. Um, what's been your absolute favorite episode that you've done? Oh, man. Uh, you know, I really dug talking to uh, Fluff Daddy, Mr. Mr. Fluff himself. Um, he was always fun. I just like, you know, I, we talk business, me and you are kind of in the same boat where we talk business all day long, window cleaning all day long. And then we do more window cleaning with videos and more window cleaning with, you know, everything else that you do. And there comes a time where everything blends together. So it's really hard to kind of like this interests me, but what season am I in, in my business compared to the next guy? Like, is this going to be interesting to somebody else? You know? So I like the back and forth with, uh, uh, other, you know, window cleaners, other guys is a lot better than just me staring at the camera for uh, 30 minutes. But uh, uh, yeah, I really like talking to Luke and I like talking to Fluff Daddy. Those are kind of my, my two favorite. And Fluff Daddy lives on our nation, actually. That's just something we want to do kind of in the, just do some content creation on that side of things. So um, as much as we can do, you know, you can't oversaturate with media. If somebody doesn't want to watch, they just don't watch, you know? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you brought out an interesting point. You know, uh, we've had, I've seen your show and, and we've had a lot of compliments on, on ours as well. And um, I, I think part of the thing that makes it work uh, really is that um, our backgrounds, right? So we are window cleaners. So it's not like you have some, just some monkey sitting in the chair that's just asking uh, unpertinent questions to to somebody that's on. We've done it. We've slung squeegees. We've we've done the water fed pole thing. We've done the pressure wash thing. And so we're able to really kind of get on the same level as some of these guys that are out there grinding right now. Yeah, you know, that's that's part of what makes you real. That's why people want to watch AWC, you know, that's why they do that is because you're a window cleaner. You get when somebody says that this so-and-so customer did this, you get it, you know, as opposed to just somebody who, well, uh, corporate tells me that the, uh, you know, Ettore channel is the best, right? You know, we know, I can tell you what sucks. I can tell you what doesn't suck. And again, it's all my opinion, but you get that with people who actually know what they're doing as opposed to somebody who's just a face, you know? Yeah. I was trying to think about uh, before we come on, um, how long we've known each other. So I think I first met you, it's been quite a few years ago, but I think, I think at the window cleaning network picnic, right? Is that where we first met? Oh yeah. Yeah. Gary's yeah. picnics were epic. You know what? I think I bought from you a, a water maker. I, it was, 
like you had, it was kind of like an IPC Eagle, but you had made it yourself. Huh. Was that you? I don't remember. That might, I don't know if that was me. I, I had sold some uh, used equipment that I didn't make. I can't take credit for any of it, but, uh, but yeah, that was probably, oh my gosh, that was probably eight plus years ago. I remember my, my first IWCA show was uh, in um, Atlanta. So that tells you how long ago that was. And then I was yep. doing picnics ever from, I'm from Wisconsin. So for those, those were like an hour and a half and I was there. So it was, it was almost cheating. I had to go, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I I, I'm almost sure it was you. I might be saying it wrong about the IPC or whatever, but uh, anyway, I, I, I'm pretty sure I, I had bought a used piece. And I remember, I remember we went to a house with uh, with Jeff Class, and he was doing his little his little demo thing with a with an IPC Eagle at the time. And uh, then we all came back to the picnic, and we had the those were the good old days, man. The old there's just a lot of people there, and the, the equipment swap and all that. It was it was pretty cool. It was a classic group um, of people, and the, and the thing is. is really got you have a shout out for that is he did such an amazing job with getting picnic together when there was no groups now we're spoiled you know there's facebook and twitter and youtube and all the shows and the, the i mean there's so many places that you can almost get lost in it back then there was an email group you know that was it that's all you had so to put something together of, of the size that you know it was in its heyday was just an amazing feat really yeah yeah it really was um yeah, it's it's too bad. I mean, uh, we're we're culprits in this, right? Though, I mean, we've uh, it's it's the good thing because the information is more readily available. We can interview, you know, different people. We can bring marketing ideas right to you, whereas you used to have to network for that. But it is what it is. It's where we live now, and so that's uh, uh, you know, as as much as we're culprits too, we it's we've embraced it as well. So it is what it is. You know, the nice thing is is that uh, guys like you. We, um, you know, everybody goes, oh, you're flooding the market. You're telling guys that they can do, you know, everybody can be a window cleaner. Well, what's actually happening is you're having actual educated people talking about things as opposed to anybody with a camera. Everybody's got a cell phone. Anybody can be a YouTuber and anybody can say anything they want. They can tell you that, you know, sprinkling baking soda on a roof kills moss, uh, algae, lichens, whatever. And people will believe them unless there's people like you out there doing the opposite telling actual information and actually knowing what you're talking about so i don't think that the content that uh, we put out is negative at all because there's enough bad information out there that it's kind of refreshing to have actual knowledge sometimes yeah yeah exactly and i don't know i i don't really care what anybody thinks anyway <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the best part yeah that's uh, really what you do i always say uh, i don't give two dumps <laughs> because, you know, try not to swear as much. And I, I've actually heard other people uh, say that they're using that now. So it's good. You, you can't care. Trolls, yeah. the, the downside to the Internet is there's trolls. There's people out there. I don't even know why it's fun. But their entire fun is to just say stupid things that know it gets rise out of people. And that's their fun. So, you know, it's deal with it. Block who you who you want to block and keep going with it. Yeah, that's exactly right. So. Do you think we'll ever reach? Uh, I get this question a lot. So, okay, you know, we we started this about a year ago, and uh, obviously we've created created some good content. You guys have as well. Uh, do you think you'll ever reach critical mass, where it's just like, I don't know what to talk about anymore? Uh, I I certainly so. <laughs> in a weekly thirty minute podcast, that's a lot of stuff I have to BS about. So, I do feel like there will be a time, but then as everybody grows and the industry grows because it is growing so fast that you can revisit, you know, magazines have been around for ever, you know, I mean, it's been so long that they had to have covered everything, but yet you can still have a fresh take and a new story. And there's so many people who are really passionate about window cleaning and sucking it all in that, you know, we may hit a critical, but then we just have to reinvent the content that's already been created and, and touch on new points and, and things like that. Yeah. And it's what's really cool to me is uh, I've run into guys here recently, even that, um, you know, they don't know the Henry Unger story. They don't know the, the Sorbo Samuelson story. They don't know. And so it's almost like a, there's another generation that you're you're bringing up. And uh, I, I feel old that I'm talking about it, you know, because it, it wasn't that long ago where I was learning and, and doing those things. And now, you know, I'm like, oh, no, this is the, you know, this, this is the guys. And these, it's like, I'm the old guy now. But, uh, but at any rate, I think there's always that too. You have the generational thing where new guys coming in. Um, I think 
guys like us owe it to younger generation guys in our industry to you know keep that legacy alive, to keep those stories uh, going, uh, to to re redo them every once in a while and bring them back to life. Yeah, yeah, and I I, I find it interesting too that guys are coming in now. And uh, I try not to do this, but there's guys that will come in and they will get an indoor kit like a Stingray and a water-fed pole, and they'll never learn how to traditional clean. Yeah. Like, to me, that's mind-boggling. Like you're not understanding the foundation to getting into the business, you know. So I I, I don't think there will even if it's new or the same information. I think it can all be brought to a new light, you know, like you're saying. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's cool. So. Let's talk about your podcast a little bit. So you're doing it every week uh, for 30 minutes. That is a big feat. Um, and your topic just range from I've seen it could be, you know, you're trying to really stay more businessy. I guess we kind of share that in common. I try to stay on the business side of things as well with marketing and just different cool things. I love technology. Um, we're actually getting ready to do an interview with, with somebody that's got some, some technology stuff, new stuff. And I love that kind of stuff all the time. But um, uh, where where do you go from here? What do you what's your what's the new thing that you think you'll uh, you'll try to develop? Don't give me all your secrets. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit uh, of spattered there. Uh, could you repeat that last part? I, I said just don't don't tell me all your secrets. <laughs> oh right right right. <laughs> well, you know, uh, like I say, that I think uh, the this week's episode is going to be episode twenty eight. So that's twenty eight half hour segments of stuff that, like, I you know, like you you like the tech side of things. It's it can be anything, but it's just how it's presented. You know, uh, the other thing about a podcast that a lot of guys are just listening to it. So thirty minutes seems like a long time when you're sitting down to watch it, but. Some guys want 10 minutes. Some guys are okay with 30 minutes. I've had requests for even longer and I can't, I can't talk about this stuff much, much longer than that. So try to stay interesting is the hardest part, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I, I agree. Trying to be, uh, that's the name of uh, all media is to stay relevant. Right. And uh, so that's, that's the challenge for everybody is to keep, keep things relevant. Well, um, if a person wants to catch your podcast, how do they do so? How do they go to it? What, what, how do they get involved? Yeah, so uh, we're on iTunes, we're on uh, Google Play, uh, we are on uh, um, TuneIn and um, SoundCloud. Those are the podcast versions where if you want to listen, just search WCR Nation. Uh, that is what the show is called. Um, if you want to see everything all in one, you can go to windowcleaner.com forward slash radio. A bunch of other uh, media guys there. Uh, or you can go to the playlist on Window Cleaning Resources uh, YouTube page and kind of get into the conversation that side of things too. And uh, you've been trying to be everywhere. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong. You're doing some live uh, stuff as well on Facebook. I think guys can run into you there as well. Yeah. So the lives right now we're doing just a test to try to see if it's something that we could do four times a week because I I, I don't know I'm a glutton for punishment I guess but. Uh, we're doing some real cool interviews there. And that's the Window Cleaning Resource Facebook page. Uh, just like and follow. And uh, every time something live comes up, it's always cool to have the back and forth, you know. It's always nice watching you. But if we could talk back and forth, that's really where I think content is going to go eventually. And that's where Facebook Lives really come in. Even YouTube where people are always commenting, everybody else can comment on there. And then all of a sudden you have video, but then a forum talk about the video. You can talk live now with Facebook live. And I, I really see that's where kind of content's going. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Um, it's, uh, it's ever changing. That's for sure. So we have to uh, keep up with it. But as soon as you think you got it figured out, it changes again. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's exactly right. Very good. Josh, I really appreciate you being on with us today. Uh, all you listeners or watchers at, on Facebook and YouTube as well, check it out. WCR Nation, they've got a bunch of great topics on there. Uh, we really appreciate Josh being on today. And uh, hey, I'm Mike Draper with AWC TV signing out. Stay tuned for our next episode of AWC TV by following us on YouTube, Facebook, or our website, awcmag.com.